What's up my subscribers? Yeah, it's back to reality. Christmas is now past and gone. It's the day after Christmas. Yeah, I went home for Christmas dinner yesterday, so now I'm back on the road. I'm here at the terminal in Cardinalsville, Georgia. And we go, you know, there's a morning like this. Got a lot of work. So now I'm pick up I'm gonna pick up this load. I'm gonna take to um, in Lagrange, Lagrange, Georgia. Then I'm gonna come back right here, and I'm gonna pick up another load and take it to some place in um, Westchester, Ohio. So I know a lot of drivers maybe still on home time. I didn't need more than only one day, so I'm back on the road again. Moment. I came back in this morning and I hit ready for this patch. Oh my god, too late, too low. Right in time. I don't know. I'm ready to hit the road. I already did my pre trip and stuff. Oh, I'm a chop. Oh, look at my two Christmas cake I got right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna play with them. I still got cake here in my fridge. Got a lot of food here. Still got a lot of Christmas food right here inside my freezer. I got oxtail, curry goat. I got the good old Jamaican sorrel wine right here. So. It was a good Christmas and now it's time to hit the road so I keep you guys in touch within the rest of this journey December the 26th 2019 just a couple more days for um, 2020 to chip in so it's going good enjoying my job I was happy to come back to work I could stay home another day if I wanted, but I guess I love the job too much, so I'm gonna hit the road, so like, share, and subscribe. And as soon as I reach La Granger, I'll let you guys know what's up. I'll keep you updated with this journey, so peace out. Yeah, I made it in La, La Grange now. Just got my trailer right here. Now I'm gonna look at empty. And head back to Cartersville and then pick up that load from Cartersville straight to Ohio. I'm at this um, Walmart in um, Lagrange, Georgia. So I don't have any clue where to search for empty now, but I'm gonna search. And that's what's up. It brings Chuck in. As I told you, I'm gonna keep you in touch with this load. I'm gonna look for an empty and head back to here, Cartersville, Georgia. Yeah. I'm looking for an empty. So far I haven't seen that even one millis trailer yet. Yard. Not one single millis 
for Tamilis over here, but the journey to go to go get this trailer, I don't think I'm gonna go in that all that mud. See? No way for me to walk. I'm not walking in that shit. Let's see this other side. Stay empty. I rather go search. I can't even search. There's no way. I'm not gonna walk in all that mud to get that trailer. There must be another trailer here. Okay. Here goes another millis. I hope it's empty. I'm gonna try my luck. Try my luck and I pray it's empty. Lights are closed. Door is barely gonna be open. It doesn't have to open that way, I just want to peep inside. Okay, it's empty, a little bit dirty but it's empty, yes, I was lucky, take a look around and make sure, these trailer parks are close, it's a good thing I'm not big, I'm small, I walk so easy. I'm gonna hook up. I'm gonna hook up my hook up my truck to that trailer now and head out of here. That's what's up. Back in Cartersville, Georgia. Got my trailer.
my trailer right here. You know, get my paperwork inside the inside the terminal office, and then come and fix that bulb. Hope I don't forget, because you know, can't drive without my low beam bulb working. It's more possible to drive it with, um, without without my high beam, because the high beam doesn't use that much. I mainly use the high beam when I'm night when I'm scared of the deer and I'm driving by myself on the road where there's no cars yeah I turn on the eye beam to see so I can see the deer from afar far far here are some trucks waiting on some new students yeah when I come to Millis transfer here are some trucks waiting for you guys just as though they were waiting on me yeah this is where I used to do my training at but now they got a bigger feel over there See, I'm at my terminal in Crowdersville, Georgia yeah see how many trucks waiting on new drivers Kenworth you know we got the best truck running at most companies you got to drive one million one million miles before you can get a Kenworth so all you're gonna get is a freight liner or an international or a Volvo you know the international doesn't go too far before it's time to go in the shop if you you have a 2020 freight um, international and you have a 2015 um, Kenworth you're still gonna get a better run out of the Kenworth than that new 2020 international those international they're designed to go in shops so that's what's up keep you guys so I'll pick up my load now get my paperwork fix my bulb and then head straight to Trenton and why you are at the next terminal. So you can see I'm gonna replace my bulb. I already took out this bulb. I can easily well drive around by the shop but I just went around there and get a new bulb. And I'm gonna put it right here. So if I was on the road I would have to fix it myself so why not? I'm here at the terminal, so I'm going to put in this new one See the difference? That one is dark So you know, it's blown I'm going to put in the board now and get rolling So right before I go I already get my bulb fixed One thing I have leave to do now is get some fuel and then my journey starts. If I'm gonna get some fuel, get some DEF, 
and then I'm heading straight to Trenton, Ohio. Good morning, YouTube. You can see my clock is not yet started, but I'm hoping and ready. Waiting on my clock to start. What I'll be doing now, I'll be. Yeah, I'm at this rest area. Yeah, I'm at this um, rest area now. So I'm just like a hour away from um, Trenton Terminal. I'm gonna drop off this load, and hopefully, I can get another load quickly. I know because of the holiday, past Christmas holiday, there's a lot of work because a lot of drivers um, went home for a lot of days. But I just went home for like one day, just for Christmas day only. So I'm back on the road, the morning after Christmas. Yes, I'm going to get my... I'm gonna go use the bathroom, here's my toothbrush and my toothpaste Freshen up my breath and my face And get rolling Here is a beautiful rest area I don't even remember exactly where I'm at but You mean Chuck spot here So I'm just Getting ready. Hopefully by the time I went back to the truck, my 10 hour break is um is up so I can go on duty, do my pre-trip. Yes, it's a nice and clean rest area. Yeah just like one hour away from um, Trenton Terminal so, I know I'm still in Kentucky though but I don't remember exactly where I'm at we got some nice comfortable seats you can sit and chill wrong entering okay Now this map will show us exactly where I'm at. See? Yes, I'm in Georgetown. And I'm coming from all the way. I'm coming from below here, down Georgia. I was riding the 75 all the way. And I'm right here. And then I'm going to go all the way up here, straight up. So that's what's up. Yeah, yesterday I drove like 571 miles. So as soon as I get to that terminal, I'll let you guys see what my first trip after Christmas was like.
subscribers you can see I know you're gonna drop my trailer from one terminal to the other We're straight from Cartersville terminal now this is the final in Trenton Ohio I'm gonna drop this trailer right now and then send ready for dispatch and start my journey so this is my first trip after Christmas yeah my first trip after Christmas